Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for June 29th of 2024 is titled A Solstice Moon. So what do we see here? Well, here we see pictures of the moon and in fact a number of pictures taken not that long ago and this full moon was on June the 21st just a little over a day after the summer solstice occurred. Now what does that mean? Well on the summer solstice the sun is highest in the sky as for those in the northern hemisphere it is at its greatest distance above the celestial equator so it will appear very high in the sky relative to any other time of year that is the highest it gets. Now what that means for the moon the moon the full moon especially is opposite to the sun in the sky. So it is on the opposite side that means that while the sun is very high in the sky during the day the moon will be very low in the sky at night. And that's because they're opposite to each other. The sun is high above the celestial equator during the day. The moon being opposite that would be very low below the celestial equator. And we can see the image kind of just how it just hugs the horizon here, barely getting up above, even though that is the full moon. So the positioning of the moon depends on what time of year it is and the different cycle through which the sun is going at the same time. Now, so we see it very low here. And of course, if you looked at it near the winter solstice, it would be just the opposite. The sun would be very low in the sky and the moon would be much higher again being opposite to that. Now this was also an extremely low moon because it was also the extreme of a much longer cycle of the moon which is the 18.6 year cycle. Now you see the moon does not follow exactly the same path as the sun otherwise we'd get an eclipse every single month and we know that eclipses are relatively rare and the moon is orbit is actually tilted relative to the Earth's orbit around the sun by about five degrees. So while the sun can make a range of about 20, or sorry, about 47 degrees going above or below the celestial equator by about 23 and a half degrees in either to either side, the moon can go as far as five degrees above that or five degrees below that giving it a wider range than the sun. And when those cycles all line up as they do every 18.6 years, you can then get the moon not only at its lowest because the sun is at its highest, but at its lowest because it is at the lowest point in its orbit as well. So that caused this to be an extremely low positioning of the moon across the horizon as you can see in the image taken here from Turkey just a little over a week ago. So that was our picture of the day for June 29th of 2024. It was titled a solstice moon. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be Earthrise. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.